Okay. Hey guys, this is the final set of problems, problems number two and three. Okay, so for number two, we are given an autometer stick, a fulcrum is placed 50 at a 50 centimeter mark. Because of this fulcrum, the meter stick can rotate about it. The three kilogram mass is hung from the meter stick at a 10 centimeter mark. Where should a five kilogram mass be placed on the meter stick so that the meter stick is in equilibrium? So I drew this out. Let me pull this off. Okay. So I drew a diagram. As I suggest, always draw your diagram first. And what I did is we have taken our. Let me see if I can get some tools here. Okay. So I've taken basically our three kg block, right? Which is placed at your 10 centimeter mark and I've converted it to newtons because you always need to keep it in standard units and the formula we are going to be implementing um, will need uh, this uh, to be in newtons um, so I suggest uh, 3 kilograms and multiply by our newton force um, which either way you're going to have to do it because what we're going to do is we're going to uh, set it equal to uh, so in this case it's basically going to be your mass times your gravitational force due to gravity and your height. Uh, so to solve, or in this case, it's going to be your distance. So we'll put that in. Actually, we'll put it your displacement. So to solve, it's going to be basically your mass, which is your three kilogram object, okay, multiplied by gravitational force due to acceleration, and we're going to multiply that by 0.1 because we want to keep it in all standard units. So as you can see, this is going to be your force. And this is going to be your distance. This is actually calculating torque on both sides. Uh, all these are actually torque problems, so um, this will definitely come in handy. You have your 3 kilogram object. This makes it in, this makes the, the final answer become Newton meters, because we're multiplying by our Newtons here, which is, is exactly what we're doing, is we're converting the mass to newtons just by multiplying by the gravitational force due to acceleration. So, if you ever have to go backwards and you have to solve from newtons and put it into mass, mass in newtons, uh, or even kilograms in newtons, are not the exact, they're not the same thing. Uh, they are completely different things. Mass and force are completely different things. Um, actually, what I'll do is I'll, I'll put a video up describing the differences between mass and force for anybody who's having some confusion with that. But to convert, we're going to convert this to newtons, and we're going to multiply it by meters. So this is 10 centimeters. So to make it into meters, we've got to put 0.1 meters. Okay, so this gives us 29.4. So I'll highlight that as well. It's 29.4 newtons. And then here's our 50, 50 meter point. And I'll put that down. Oh, whoa. Okay. Don't worry about that. I'll just take that out. See if I can do that. Nope. Oh, there you go. And then on this side we have a five kilogram object. No, that's not what I was looking for. Five kilogram object. So we're gonna do the same thing on this side. Five kg object times nine point eight. We do not know the displacement, so we're just gonna put x. And what we will be doing is we'll be setting both of these equations equal to each other. So I'll oh, no, just make this a little smaller. And let's see if I can do this. Should be able to. No? Okay. Well, anyway, what we're going to do is we're actually going to set this equal to this. And we're going to solve for our displacement. And what, what we'll actually come up with. Oh, actually, you can see it right here. This is, this is actually our formula right here. We just set these equal to each other. You came up with 0.6 meters, and that's your final answer. So you can convert it to centimeters if you'd like to. If, the, if they ask you to put it in centimeters, then it will be 60 centimeters um, on a one meter stick. So you know, your final answer would be 0.6 meters, and I'll put a text box in there, or, point, uh, or 60 centimeters. Okay. So that's problem number two. Um, I'm also going to be doing problem number three. Get rid of that. Okay. And uh, okay. So problem number three. Let's go back to problem number three. Asks if a 20 kilogram object is resting on a table 1.6 meters above the ground level. So I drew up my table. It's 1.6 meters above ground level. 
You have a 20 kilogram object sitting on that table. Then, the object is then picked up and moved to a height of 8.7 meters above the ground level, which doesn't say it's resting on a table, but it wouldn't matter. It could be resting on a table, it could be resting on a shelf. So I just drew myself a table. Either way, it's, it's 8.7 meters above the ground level, so something is holding it up. What is the change in the gravitational potential energy of the object? So the only thing you need to know here, and that's what I'll actually write it in, the only thing you need to know is that right here is that to calculate potential energy, you all you do is you multiply mass times your gravitational force multiplied by your height. So that's the only formula you have to know. Therefore, all we have to do is just plug it in. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at the difference in the height. So we know that the height here is 8.7 meters. We know that the height here is 1.6 meters. A little hard to see. Uh, here you go. So we're just going to subtract our 8.7 minus 1.6, and that's going to give us 7.1. Since it's the same 20 kilogram object, the mass hasn't changed. We can just plug it into our regular formula, MGH. 20 multiplied by 9.8 multiplied by 7.1 is equal to 1,393 joules. There is your answer. Ta-da! I hope this helped, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.